the Red Hair Pirates. Now, me personally, when it comes to all of the Yonko, the four emperors of the New World, the Red Hair Pirates are, for me personally, the most interesting group. I'm so excited to see who these characters are, their personalities, their powers, their unique abilities, things that just make me go crazy and hype. Yo, I'm telling you right now, yo, Shanks is one of my top five favorite characters. I always loved Shanks as a character. Yo, he's badass. The day one since him and Luffy. And just seeing Luffy and the Red Hair Pirates, yo, joking around, it was like the first chapter in the One Piece manga, the fourth episode in the anime. They're day one. They're actually characters who we've seen in the beginning. So you definitely, like I said, yo, people who are day one, some of them, I like to say, yo, I gravitate towards them and I actually enjoy them as characters. And I'm just hyped to see you that greatness, yo, that, yo, we know Luffy and Lucky we were probably fighting in a meat eating contest or something, yo, because I know the red hair pirates can bring greatness. In this video, I'm going to discuss all about the red hair pirates now the first character i'm going to talk about is shanks it's the captain of the red hair pirates now let's be honest here we've seen shanks about 20 years ago forming this crew and it was he was a young age and shanks is coming from a background of the pirate king crew so shanks has been through the ringer being a cabin boy in the pirate king's crew like i said and we know he's had daily duels or duels with dracula mihawk so shanks has been rising in his power and he formed his crew and i'll just say right now uh their crew seems like they're just traveling the world having a good time partying drinking seeing the the, uh, the whole world and what it has and what it has to offer i'm definitely seeing some uh vibes of they really are not a hundred percent trying to uh uh get i don't think they're trying to get the rather one piece me personally that's my opinion and shanks is leading this crew and with this crew it doesn't really seem like a huge crew it seems more of a smaller crew compared to the other emperors i would personally say that the red hair pirates are more of a quality than quantity so they have their core group that's so amazing in power and then around them there's some like there's some guys who are legit but it's mostly the core group and shanks is leading that group and we know about shanks and what he's been doing in the past he, he got scarred by blackbeard so him and blackbeard definitely have a past in the marine four they were talking about how in the future yo they're gonna battle in the future we all know it's a destiny battle that shanks is gonna lead against marshall d Teej. I also want to say in the Kaido War, well, we right now in the present time, Shanks was just at a wedding. I don't know who was getting married. Some theories are saying uh, Lucky Ru was the person getting married. I'm not too sure. But Shanks during the Kaido War, I don't think he'll actually be a part of the Kaido War because Luffy and Shanks, the whole situation there. But the post Kaido War, I definitely see Shanks having a reaction and bringing some crazy reveals. And definitely, we know the future. Like I said, Blackbeard versus Shanks. That's the destiny fight. That's the fight that like, at Marine Ford it was foreshadowing and I, I some people have been saying that luffy is gonna fight shanks that would be epic yo i would love to see luffy fight shanks for the like talking about the straw hat the straw hat and all the history behind that and just seeing the role model and the tra not the trainer really it's just more role model and meeting luffy and shanks meeting who knows yo people have been saying that shanks is evil which i do not agree with but they're saying that rap tells shanks is gonna be there fighting luffy who knows what's gonna happen but the future is definitely hype when it comes to the character of shanks yo this man is bad ass yo that hockey greatness ben beckman and i'll personally say ben beckman for a character who doesn't get a lot of screen time he's a lot of people's one of their favorites though he should be honest here ben beckman is badass and from the first time we see him to the moments we've seen him he just does crazy things epic things now i remember the first time we saw him yo, he was putting in work he just he dusted he destroyed all those bandits easily now at this time we know those bandits were not really powerful and a character of power of ben beckman's level he definitely uh should have done that easily he's the right hand man to shanks so shanks we know that when it comes to right hand mans they're kind of like a little bit closer than the rest of the crew to the captain they're not the captain's power but they're close to the captain's power so he's definitely a right hand man to Shanks. I definitely respect Ben Beckman's power. Who knows though? We see at a Marine Ford, him and Kizaru, the whole situation there. I've been saying, yo, in the past of Ben Beckman, yo, he might have went in a battle against Kizaru. I'm not too sure if it's happened or not. But the fact that the way they were talking Marine Ford seems like they're cordial. Like they went, they battled before in the past. Who knows if it happened? But I definitely feel like Ben Beckman and Kizaru have some sort of past that's going to be revealed. And if it does get revealed, it's going to be pure hype. Now we know. 
like I said, he's the right hand man to the Yonko Shanks. And I personally feel like, yo, the right hands to the Yonko are kind of like on the ad close to the Admiral level or even some of them Admiral level. So I I'm going to make a whole video on Ben Beckman's power when we see more of his abilities. So that's going to be a long, maybe a couple of years before we actually see Ben Beckman actually fight. But I definitely have a theory, a prediction, a speculation that I think Ben Beckman might train Sanji. The reason why I say this is because he shares some qualities of Sanji. We know Sanji is one of the smartest characters on the Straw Hat Pirates. And Ben Beckman was said to be the strongest, I mean the smartest in East Blue. Now, I do not know how smart he is compared to everyone right now. I do think that the only person right now that I can put above him is Vegapunk. But Ben Beckman's intelligence is something that was hyped up by Oda. And I feel like there's a reason for that. So there's the quality of that. And there's also the quality of smoking. You know, Ben Beckman likes to puff a cigarette. Yo, so Sanji does too. Yo. So I definitely feel like Ben Beckman, his history with Kizaru. Ben Beckman might even train Sanji. But that'd be, that'd be, I'm not too sure if he's going to train him. But the way that... Uh, so if, if Sanji fights Kizaru, which I do think is going to happen, I think there's going to be a uh, Kizaru's going to reveal his flashback with Ben Beckman, how Ben Beckman kind of fights the same style as Kizaru. Who knows? Ben Beckman might be some crazy martial artist, Jet, Jet Li, crazy kicks. That will be very hyped if he was on that level. But yeah, like I said, Ben Beckman is a very hyped character. He's, I think he's very powerful, and I'm so excited to see him. Yo. He's one of my favorite characters. I can't put him really put him in my top 10 because I, we, haven't, we haven't seen nothing from Ben Beckman. But I can say that when we see his power and his more of his character in action, he's definitely be my, probably one of my favorite characters Yasub yes the character known as Yasub let's get it but I'm gonna be honest here he's the father of Usopp and it's funny because usually fathers who leave their sons at a young age in real life are seemed as deadbeats very like just it's very terrible to do that to your son your child to leave them at a young age but with Yasub it's kind of different because Usopp said he like he actually is happy that his father left look he followed his dreams and even uh, Yasub's wife Usopp's mother was kind of like okay do it you like so they didn't really seem that salty though i do think the fact that he was absent really played a huge measure in usopp's life now we also know that yasub is a crazy sniper and shanks actually recruited him we see shanks in a flashback in the chapter zero episode zero moment he goes to the uh i forgot what the uh, village was called i think kokiyashi he goes to that village and he tells yasub you'll come on my crew shanks already had a crew as you see a boat in the background a ship in the background but he tells yasub to join and that's very high prestige and you also know that yasub he had a filler against this guy named Daddy in Locktown. It's filler, but I gotta say, it was very hype, yo. Yasa was uh, flexing those sniper guns, yo. Let's just say, no pun intended, but he was flexing on him. Now, I do think that there might be a history between Vista, yes, the character on Whitebeard's crew, and Yasa. The way they looked at each other in Marine Ford made it seem like they did not like each other. And in the future for Yasa, there's a big thing we gotta talk about is Von Auger. Von Auger is the sniper on Blackbeard's crew, and this guy was so hype in Jaya. He's taken out seagulls from, some, from so far away. He seems like he got very powerful in the, as of the time skip. I don't. I'm just guessing right now. So I think they're gonna have a crazy sniper battle, and it's, it might gonna be, it might even help up build up the fight between Usopp and Von Auger. And Usopp and Yasub, I I wish they meet. Now there's some, been some theories that Yasub's gonna die. I'm not gonna get into that subject, but I wish Usopp and Yasub Yasub meet because I know it's going to be very litty. Right now, Yasub got a reaction to Usopp's bounty and he's like, yo, this is pretty hype, yo. So it was fun seeing that his uh, he, was, he was so happy to see Usopp's bounty. It's at like 200 million. So yeah, you definitely got to be happy, yo. That's pretty much it. My thoughts on Yasub. Lucky Roo. And I'm going to be honest here, when it comes to Lucky Roo, He's the character I always think about when looking at the beginning of One Piece. Yo, Lucky Roo is a hilarious character. I know him. He he seems to be really out of all the characters. We know Yasub had a moment where he was helping out Luffy, uh, and we know that uh, Ben Beckman had a moment where he was talking to Luffy, giving Luffy uh, like a pep talk, a speech. And then Lucky Roo seems like that guy who used to joke around with Luffy. Now I'm just saying this because yo, Lucky Roo loves to eat. Yo, let's just be honest. Yeah. And Luffy right now we know he's a lover of the meat. He loves to eat. So maybe Luffy picked up on eating meat from uh, Lucky. Lucky Roo, or it could just be from his uh, family of Garp, who knows, but I do want to say this, Lucky Roo, when we seen him, he's the first character to kill a person in One Piece, just think about that, the first character to kill a character, uh, the first character to kill someone in One Piece, it was a bandit, he showed his super speed, people have been saying that he has a time manipulation fruit, I do not think so, but I do think his super speed is very hype, it might be on some Oswich hockey next level thing, because I've been saying that the Red Hair Pirates might be hockey specialists, so they 
They might not even might not even have uh, fruits. They're just crazy hockey specialists have who have expanded the hockey game. Now I do think that he has gotten bigger since the first beginning of the chapter, the first chapter, the first episode. He has gotten huge as we, as we saw him in Marine Ford. And in Marine Ford is like, yo, Shanks, don't you want to see Luffy? So definitely, Luckaroo is very a big fan of Monkey D. Luffy, and he's one of the main characters when it comes to the Red Hair Pirates. I mean, when I say main characters, I mean the main core. Every single Yonko crew has like a main core who are their most powerful fighters. We see the Sweet Commanders, the Calamities, and Wipers crew. We had like uh, Marco, uh, Jozu, uh, Ace, Vista. For Red Hair, I feel like it's uh, Ben Beckman, uh, Yasop, and Lucky Roo as the main. And the fact that Lucky Roo is a part of this, it definitely feels like he's going to be so powerful when we see his actual fighting. Now, in the future, I'm not too sure who, who he will fight. On the Blackbeard Pirates, I think it might be Burgess. If Burgess needs to get a fruit, though, he needs to get stronger. Because Burgess is getting destroyed by San uh, I mean Sabo. So, Burgess needs to become stronger. And in End of Story, I think that yeah, Lucky Roo might find Bur fight, fight Burgess. Or he might fight one person on the uh, Straw Hat Pirates. If Shanks, if the Red Hair Pirates versus the Straw Hat Pirates, yo, we might see a Lucky Root versus Jimbe or who Frankie. I'm not too sure who it will be, but it's going to be very hype. Now, I'm going to rush through these last couple Red Hair Pirates because let's be honest here. We really don't know much about these Red Hair Pirates, but I'm going to talk about some things that I just want to say about each character. Now, we see this guy who has long hair. He has a sunglasses, white plastic gloves. My guess is he's some sort of surgeon or a doctor, but we can never be too sure. I'm just going to say right now, yo, he's badass looking. He looks like he's very powerful. He seems to be like that fifth guy in the crew, though I'm just guessing right now. But he seems like he's very powerful. And like I said with the Red Hair Pirates, I think it's more quality than quantity. I feel like they're a small, a small core group. But yeah, there's some very powerful characters in this small core group. Now we have that monkey dude. Uh, yes, yeah, he got became huge ever since uh, he started. I'm just saying right now, yo. Back in the beginning, he wasn't that big, but he became big because he did. He went to the New World Gym. What are you probably thinking? What are you asking? What's the New World Gym, yo? When you go to the New World, you gotta get lift them weights, yo. He was probably bench pressing and shoulder pressing. I'm not too sure what kind of workouts he was doing, but yeah, he has a monkey on his shoulder. That just says right there, he's on some next level animal specialist. Him and Chopper might go at it if they had to fight, but I'm just saying this guy seems very. Very cool. And then we have the tallest character in the Red Hair Pirates. Some long hair, sunglasses wearing, dragon tattoo to his neck, and he has a sword. Uh, he seems like a brute, someone who is very powerful in his strength. Now, I have seen some theories that say that he's, oh, he's a, definitely the Frankie's father, yo. Now, I do not believe that theory. That's too, it, it kind of reminds me of the whole killer was uh, Sanji's brother, or Bellamy was Sanji's brother. It just seems too out of the, like, it was, I don't believe it. I do not believe it, but he seems like a very powerful powerful character and a very badass character now we see this guy with a ponytail yes and i gotta say the ponytail uh definitely showcases that he's probably gonna be some next level speedster i'm just assuming right now i'm just speculating but he has a sword that he's carrying so it definitely seems like he has some great arm and hockey and i feel like he's gonna be a speedster and i hope he has a fruit but like i said yo, i'm not too sure if the red hair pirates even have fruits yo we know shanks was so angry and luffy almost ate that fruit so i'm not too sure what his power is but he seems like a speedster he's very small in stature now we have this guy who's, I'm not gonna lie, out of all the Red Hair Pirates, see, he seemingly looks like the guy who doesn't get a lot of shine, but he's in like that really far end. He's he's the guy she's shown that has very pointy teeth. I call him Yelling Guy, and he looks kind of like a lion, yo. Who, who knows? He might be some sort of Zoan, just as a guess, as some, as, I'm assuming there, but he might have some crazy power showing his physical strength. Now I definitely gotta talk about Rockstar. Yes, Rockstar, the man who had 94 million Barry Bounds. At the time we saw his bounty, we were so hyped, yo, 94 million, but he's just uh, one of the rookies, yo, one of the first pirates on, well, you're not really, I don't know if you can call him a rookie, but like, he's one of uh, Shanks' recruiting, uh, a pirate that doesn't seem very powerful, but he had a 94 million bounty, so it just shows how strong the Yonko crew was, but yeah, his meeting with Whitebeard was hilarious, hyping up Shanks, yo, oh, my captain is Shanks, yo, what are you talking about, Whitebeard, this is my first mission, and just Shanks telling him to shut the hell up, man, this is Whitebeard, yo, I'll calm down, we're gonna come through there, and we see him, yo, he seems like a comedic character, I can see him and Luffy having some comedic moments in the future. This is a guess of mine, though I do think that post Tanska, we've seen him. He got way bigger, and he seemingly looks like a main character when it comes to the Red Hair Pirates. Because I told you, there's a core for the Red Hair Pirates that we saw in Marine Ford. I think Rockstar in the two years might have made some gains to be a part of the core. This is a guess of mine. And the final character I have to talk about is Dracula Mihawk. You guys thought I wouldn't talk about him, right? You guys thought I wouldn't talk about Dracula Mihawk. I think he might be a secret member of the Red Hair Pirates. Just a guess of mine. The reason why I say this is because I don't think he's actual member. 
member of the Red Hat Pirates, but if in the final war, somebody has to fight Shiryu of the Rain. On Blackbeard Pirates, I said it's foreshadowed, the war of Red Hair versus Blackbeard. And I think that this guy, Jack and Miyak, is going to fight Shiryu of the Rain, and he's going to help out Shanks because of their relationship as their daily duels. And he might be that secret right other right-hand man that Shanks has. I said that Ben Beckman kind of seems like Sanji to me, so what if Mihawk is like the Zoro to Shanks? I'm just as a guess, an assumption, and we know Yasub's kind of like the Usopp, and uh, Lucky Roo's kind of like the maybe Jinbei or Frankie, I'm not too sure, but I definitely feel like Mihawk might be the secret member, or the secret member in the moments of the final war. I don't think he's actually a, a, a character who's on the Red Hair Pirates, but I feel like in the final war, he's going to join them for a fight against the Blackbeard Pirates, and the hype is going to be real. We know Aokiji might be there during the fight, though I do not think so, but let's just say that uh, One Piece, yeah, the future of One Piece seemingly seems like it's going to be pure greatness. Tell me your thoughts in the comments section. What do you think about the Red Hair Pirates? Me, personally, I feel like they're one of the craziest crews in the One Piece world, and they're going to have some crazy hockey abilities. They might have some fruits but my guess is more leaning towards hockey and just the powers like it's it's a yonko crew it's an emperor crew every single yonko crew seemingly seems hype we see with big mom kaido blackbeard uh whitebeard shanks definitely has a hype crew and like i said you know, quality over quantity tell me your thoughts in the comment section like and share if you enjoyed like and share only if you enjoyed and subscribe for more one piece content i'm the legend mac and i'm gone